Hi everyone, now as you've probably seen in the last video, uh, or the last couple of videos anyway, I've been talking about CDC and what I have here is the CDC I died, just died uh, this is cinnamon now what I've got here is a dark and a light cinnamon I died, as you probably, if you will, I'll put a link to the video so you can see how I died it uh, and I use these together to, for this cinnamon caddis now it's just a bubble CDC very good fly. Main sizes are tens and well, tens, twelves, fourteens. Uh, this is a size twelve. Now the hook. This is a full mill hook. It's a, an all-purpose medium. It's a medium wire hook. It is a barbed hook, but if you want to fish barbless, it's very simple to de barb. Uh, I like the style of the hook, so I don't mind. Quite simple to de barb a hook, and that's how I do it. You can either do it on the vice, or you can use a pair of pliers. There you go. Now, thread I'm going to be using to tie the fly is a, a rusty brown. Now, it's very uh, cinnamon light colour. Now, what I'm going to do here is you can either, I'm going to put horns on it, but you can tie them on just now or you can tie them on right near the end. And there is times where I feel we could probably better tie them on at the beginning. So, I'm going to tie them in. I'm going to start the thread, now I have waxed it take your thread down a bit to give you plenty of grip now I've actually got some cinnamon dyed uh, this is bronze mallard these were just the uh, not the, the feathers that weren't marked too well so I, I like to use these up they're very good for horns now two fibres, just bring them down to the grease from the stem line them up And tie them forward, just making sure they're, they're the same length. I pulled them off quite awkward, like, and usually pull off quite easy. Tie them forward of the eye, and about probably a head length away, if you look there, about a head length away. So we just basically tie these on, so they're there, ready. Don't have to worry about them till we finish the fly. So, what I'm going to do is this is a bubble. Uh, deer hair type caddis, the bubble CDC anyway so we just quickly run it down I like to come slightly around the bend a bit and then I'm going to use a mix of the dark and the light now I'm just going to dark light dark so basically four feathers and that gives you a nice blend of colour so we've got basically dark and light blended. Dark is on top in this case. So I'm going to bring it over. Now I've got them all lined, laid on top of one another. we a natural curve coming up and away. So I'm just going to pull back what I don't need. Pull what I do need in. Now what I'm doing is running my fingers through to the tips. And then I'm going to catch it on at the back here. It's just a kind of loose light loop just to position the thread and the fibre and pull it in a wee bit and then another couple of turns and then there we are that's going to form the bubble you're looking for a basically curved inside now I'm going to make sure this is not going to move tie this in now we've got all this up the top here which we could use as a dubbing or we could use the feather as a as a, another feather or two for the body. So I'm going to do another couple of feathers for the body. So I've got a light and a dark. I want the two tone to continue. Two feathers. Let's catch it on. Pull it into the tip. And I'm going to wind up. All the way up to basically about thorax length from the... Uh, the eye. I'm just going to wind this CDC together on the way up. You see it blends nice until we get to the point here. Basically beginning in the thorax. Trim this away. Make sure you wax your thread and tidy up. You can leave these leggy type fibres, just they're fine. Just you can pull them back if you feel they're going too forward. And Hold them down with a turn or two. So here's this is our CDC. 
And I'm going to turn it slightly so you can see what I'm doing here. So what we've got is the material we tied in for the bubble. Basically what this does is traps a bubble of air. And that's what floats the fly. The CDC holds air really well. So we pull back some fibre either side. Now I'm just checking to see if that's enough. Now maybe not, just a wee drop more. And then we're going to offer it on top. Leaving enough of the feathers over the back to give the impression of the wing. Just make sure these are tied on the top. Now, see how it's sitting. That looks fine. Now when you trim this away, now trim it there. These fibres here, this blend, I'm going to use this as a dub in the pit of thorax. So I'm going to trim this away from the feather. Never throw away. So we've got two layers, two sides here. You could use a, a dubbing loop and twirl it on, but I'm just going to dub it on. So I'm just going to lay it on my desk at this point. Now, you could just use the bubble or use the bubble itself. Now I'm just going to come in with a, my dubbing needle here. And then just, stems are quite stiff up the top here, so I'm just rounding it slightly. This will lift it out. You can see it's sitting a wee bit better now. It's just because it's, the stems are stiff, so it's just underneath there and in the bubble. Just curve it with the, the dubbing needle. And now I've got some dyed deer hair, which I can use. Now, there's a couple of things I can do. I can put it on at this point and then the dubbing in front. Or I can put dubbing and then this at the near the head like a, an elk hair caddis, but I'm going to put it on before and then finish off with the dubbing. So we take out enough of the deer here, and then I'm going to stack it, just open the fibre out and remove any under fur and broken ends before we stack it. And tip first into the stacker, tap on your desk. See how it's all lined up, and then remove it from the stacker. Now you want that just slightly by at the back. You can see that just there. I can see the black tips. You could you tie this out yourself, whatever you like. So when I get the wing length I like, then I trim away the waist, tie it on the top, and then keeping it nice and tight and keeping the deer hair on top, wind the thread through the cut ends. Now there's my, my horns are sitting. And there we are. They look a wee bit better now. Take the thread right to the horns, and then I'm going to take the dubbing, the CDC that I've cut away from the remains of the feather. I'm just going to lightly dub it on, not tight. I'm going to lightly dub it on. I'm going to work it from this point here up towards the wing. Just tighten when I need to. Stretch it out. Just kind of gather together there a wee bit, so just stretch it out. See what it's like. Tiny bit more. And this will get you back down. And at the same time, when you bring it back through, you're actually ribbing the, the thorax. Right to this point here, lift the horns up, bring the thread to the front. And then what we're going to do is just run the varnish onto the thread. And then we're going to wet finish. And there we go. Simple way fly. Now I have tied similar to this obviously, uh, but this is, I wanted to show uh, basically what the caddis is like, or what the CDC is like, sorry. That's a cinnamon caddis. It's going to trim a wee bit there, it's a wee bit too leggy. Just underneath there. You see the body you get, that nice blend of the two colours, it all works together. So anyway, I hope you, you like the, the tying of this fly and there's a few tips as I say. Uh, you can use your, I use, use your floatant to make this float a bit better if you want, but it does float really well. Now with the bubble, you can pull this fly and it pops below the water and pops straight back up because of the bubble is trapped within this wing. It's a great fly, so 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and again, if you enjoy the videos, uh, please subscribe. It, it does help. And thank you for watching.